All right, bro. Another generation of hope. Rich girl shames black mate for being poor. She's broke. Uh, my boy Nifty, Nifty. He uh, he had sent me this uh, when I was streaming. He sent me a little clip. Off the clip he sent me, joint was crazy. This one was wild. Well, we're gonna jump into it. I haven't seen the whole video. Uh, hope you guys enjoy it. We jump into it. Holy, holy. That clip was insane. Hey, Marcus. How are you feeling? Why does it look so dark? <coughs> I don't know why my monitor looks so, well. so dark. The pain's getting worse. Oh, I'm sorry, Marcus. With our rent and utility bills being so high, okay. we can't afford the cancer treatment you need. Don't cry. I know how hard he worked to put food on the table and pay the bills. You're the only family I have left, Marcus. And I can't oh. lose my only brother. Dang. Right. But guess what? It's almost Christmas time, and Miss Brooks always give me a huge bonus every year for working really hard. As so she we should. just use that money to pay for your cancer treatment. No. As she should. And it's February. Need our reparations, man. Black History Month. So if anything, because it's February, she should double. She should mess around triple, quadruple it. You know I got to double it. Yeah, man. Oh, you need that money for a car, Lydia. You've been walking to work every day. Marcus, I don't mind walking to work two hours back and forth. Dang. You're my favorite. That's a lot of walking, man. You're more important than a car. <laughs> this is why I'm uh... the best sister in the world. I love you and all the hard work you've been doing. A car will be nice. Anything but my Marcus. Now, you can sit with us. I'll nice. head out to work, and I'll be back soon. I respect it, though. This is a W woman. This is a, a W black queen. Okay, Gwen, I'm going out to run some errands. I won't Man. be back till late tonight. Lydia will be here in about an hour to clean up the house as usual, so let her in, and here you go. What's this? Paycheck. Her usual paycheck. Okay, Mom, I'll make sure to get that to her. After all, she's such a hard worker, and she deserves every penny. Facts. Oh, you're such a sweet girl, Gwen. I'm so glad I raised you right. It was you that taught me to be nice and generous to those in need. She's but definitely anyways, not nice, I'll see you later. Okay, I've bye. seen the clip. She's literally racist. Oh, Gwen, I almost forgot. This is Lydia's Christmas bonus. Make sure she gets it. I always like to make sure we're blessing people, especially around the holidays. Don't worry, Mom. You can tell me. Ah. She probably gonna rip up the check. Tell me some rays to be a nice look at it, bro. Damn it. Count on me to give her what she deserves. <laughs> the lights did. <dead. laughs> nah, the whole demon, bro. You're late, you dirty slave. Now get to work. The floor's filthy. What the fuck? Hey, yo! As soon as she get in the door? You can't at least be racist until I, I settle down? I've been walking on hard concrete for two hours. I can't arrest my little toesies. I can't even rest for, 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 for after walking for two hours. I'm getting called a dirty slave. What type of introduction is that? That's a little rude. You're a little rudy. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Holy. Uh, sorry, Guinevere. Uh, a jar of freaking mayonnaise. She had to leave to run some errands, and she left me in charge. That oh, means no. you have to do what I say when I say it. Oh no. Uh, uh, of course, I'll get to work right away. Come on, faster. I want to see my reflection on that floor when you're done with it. <laughs> Why are you so mean? Right, just for no reason. Because there's two kinds of people in this world. All right. People who look like you and live on food stamps and welfare and deserve to be treated like the criminals you are. Man, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. I know the racist people that's watching me. No, nah, she's spitting. No, nah, she's spitting. Let her cook. Let her cook. She's spitting facts. She's not spitting facts. You're freaking racist. And people who look like me, who were born rich and beautiful and deserve. Bro, you, bro, you're literally look and built like a sheet of paper, bro. You, you're built like a sheet of notebook paper. You look like a slim jar of mayonnaise, milk. You literally look like the Q-tip to clean the the gunk out of my ear, sis. To be treated like royalty. Okay. Oh, and I have something for you. Oh, you should probably give him some tips. Oh, nice. At least she's doing something nice to give her some chip. Okay. <laughs> okay. For what? Oops. Looks like you missed a spot. All right, Please bro. stop. I'm telling you, bro. Let that be me. Man, woman, I don't care what. Bro, it's going to get physical. It's going to get viral. I promise. I promise. I'm over here working. 
trying to get some, I'm trying to get this money up for the car and medicine for my for my brother that's about to die, that's about to pass over to the other side. I come in after walking two hours on hard concrete, my foot is sore. If anything, I need a little foot massage. I open the door, she opened the door, she said, you dirty slave. You, you might as well throw an ER on that bit. You might as well throw it on there. And then putting the, the Cheetos all on my head, how could you not put hands on her? This is the only instance where you should be putting your hands on women. Facts. And it, not even just women, anybody like this, gotta put their hands on you. Got to. Cause a simple little, why are you doing this? Why are you mean? Why won't you adopt me? None of that talking is gonna help. You gotta, you gotta teach them with physical violence. Facts. And we are not criminals. Facts. I was born here just like you. Exactly, man. Did you just tell me what to do? No, I'm just asking you to stop. Stop. That sounds like you're telling me what to do. So now I'm gonna have to teach you a lesson on what happens to dumb slaves when they disobey their masters. Not as crazy. <laughs> Yo! Look at you. Your back's all wet, just like your ancestors when they were picking up cotton. No, 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 Pouring the water, like, come on, bruh. Back so wet, just like your ancestors were in pitting the cotton. Why does she even say it like that? The cotton. Look at you. Your back's all wet, just like your ancestors when they were picking up cotton. Cotton. Now, I hope this teaches you a lesson on who's in charge. <laughs> that is so now, I'm feeling kind of hungry, so go make me some food. Got that? Yes. Yes what? She gonna take it? Yes, master. No, no that's, that's crazy. More like it. Now I'm gonna be in my room, so don't bother me until the food's ready. That is crazy. Nah, bro. I feel like if she's gonna be racist, you gotta be racist back. You got to. You got to. I'm surprised she ain't dropped the N-word. I go, these Generation Hope actors, I ain't gonna lie. They probably be happy playing these racist roles. Low key, they might be. The way the way they just let it flow, it just seem natural. It, it look about as natural as PewDiePie hitting that hard R on the bridge. What a fucking igger. Like, holy. Holy schmoly. Holy schmoly. That is crazy. Me personally, a level of disrespect like this, I can't take it. I can't. This is too much, even for me. I can't. Hey, Marcus. Hey, Lydia. Is everything okay? Just was calling to see how you were doing. Everything just, is fine. I'm doing great. It is not fine. I just got Cheetos and water poured on me. She told me my back was wet like that. My ancestors when we were pitting cotton. Cotton. Are you sure you're okay? You, you sound like you've been crying. I have. I'm fine. It's just my allergies. I've been getting treated like a slave. The place, dust gets all in the air and it just caused my eyes to tear up. Hello? Where is my food? Hurry up, I'm hungry. I know she ain't talking. I'm so sorry, Marcus. I gotta go. Things are so busy around here. Okay. Oh, I'll see you when you get home. And she getting bossed around by a little jet. A little white jet. That's the craziest part. It can be. She getting bossed around by a little Samantha. Bell like a toothpick. Where is my food? It's been 30 minutes already. I ain't gonna lie, bro. If I was her, if I was the, the beautiful dark chocolate sister, if I was her, I would have made the food, mixed it in with some piss, spit, urine, vaginal discharge, period blood, all of it. I'm mixing it like a like a terrible concoction. And just like on, on some power post type tip, I'm putting in that chemical X. Yes, sir. Hit the little. I'm sorry. I was trying to make it the best dish that I can. But it's ready now. You see, I made you tacos. You made me tacos? Yes. Yeah. Who in the world likes tacos? This food is for peasants and slaves like you. Okay, bro. You asked for the tacos. What the f- What are you doing? I'm getting rid of your stupid peasant food. Did you really think I was gonna eat something as disgusting as that? They're not disgusting. You didn't even try them. I don't need to try them. 
Now, since you failed at doing your job correctly, I'm gonna have to teach you a lesson. What's she about to do? You see these two envelopes? One of them has your pay, and the other one's your Christmas bonus. And for your Christmas bonus, I'm gonna have to keep it to teach you a lesson. Huh? Plus, people like you don't deserve bonuses. No, please. I need She's that She's not money. gonna hold my money hostage. See, my brother has cancer, and we're gonna use that bonus to pay for his treatment. Does it look like I care about your stupid sick brother? I'm glad he has cancer, and I hope he dies. Nah. You, 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 gotta. You, 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 you gotta. You, you have to. You have to. You have to. You have to. You have to beat her up. She poured Cheetos on you. She poured water on you. She said, she called you, she called you a wetback. She called you a wetback just like your ancestors that was picking cotton. And then she gonna take my bonus that I rightfully deserve for my, for my brother and then said, don't care about my brother, I hope he dies of cancer, drink bleach, kill yourself? You gotta beat her to a pulp. Don't care how old she is. She could have been a fetus. We're gonna stomp her out. Facts. That way, there's less cockroaches Holy. like y'all in this world. Please don't say things like that. I mean, he's the only person I have left in this world. Shut up. I don't care to hear your dumb sob stories. I'm keeping the money, and that is final. Plus, I need the money to buy a new Gucci purse. If no, you don't please, please don't nah. do this. I need Got that money. Got her on her hands and knees. What are you doing? Let go of me, you scum. What is going on here? Nothing, Mom. Um, I was, Lydia just fell, and I was just helping her get up. No. Nah. true, Lydia? No, that wasn't true. Yes, Mrs. Brooks. I was cleaning and accidentally dropped the food. And Gwenevere was oh helping me. Oh my God, bro. Get this out of here, bro. Bro, this was your moment. Black Nubian goddess. This was your moment. She been treating me like a slave. She turned this house. This is 2023. She turned it to 1823. And she been trying to, she been holding my money for hostage. Not only that said, my brother, glad, glad my brother got cancer and he should die. Ooh, expose her. Mom, I was just doing what you taught me to always help people. But mom, why are you back? I thought you weren't going to be back until later tonight. I was. But you see, yesterday I had security cameras installed in this house yep. to keep us better protected. And look what I found. No, get to work, you dirty slave. Uh, mom, I can explain. The thing mm. is... Zip it. I don't got need you an explanation. 4K. This video doesn't lie. Yeah. How could you treat Lydia so badly? She is a hardworking person that has never given us anything less than her best. That's facts. Lydia, I am so sorry for how my daughter has treated you. You didn't deserve any of it. I That's should get a triple bonus. Gross. No, it's not. No one should ever be treated this way. And Gwen, I had planned on surprising you with a brand new car for Christmas. But after what I've seen, you don't deserve it. Right. So I'm giving it to Lydia. You need what? a ship. You need a ship at the border school. That. Yes, you can. Oh, Mrs. Brooks, I can't take that. Oh my God! Please, 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 please! Oh my God! Please, just bro, please take it. Please, 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 please take it. Just take it. You've been through enough. Please, let that humility go. You've been you've been treated like you're you're subhuman. You've been treated like you're three fifths of a person. Please, please take it. Please. I can do whatever I want. And Lydia, no one deserves a car more than you. Yes. You are so hardworking, and it's the least I can do after everything my daughter has done. S ship it aboard in school. Thank you so much. You just don't know how much this means to me, and how much this is gonna help my family. Thomas, Lydia, don't mention don't. it. You deserve it. Yeah, man. I, I say we leave the daughter, once she get older, leave the daughter a single mother. Facts. Lydia was able to pay for Marcus's surgery and now had a brand new car to go to work. She no longer had to walk over two hours every day. Yes, sir. Mrs. Brooks punished Guinevere by making her help Lydia clean up the house for the next four months until she learned how to appreciate the hard work that Lydia did. Only four? Come on, bro. You got you to hit it with the same thing. You got to pour a vent there. I'm, I'm pouring bleach on her head. Pouring bleach on her head. I'm putting st sticky, wet substances on her head not like that not like that sticky food sticky food i'm putting sticky food on her head and it's going to get caught in her hair and it's going to be extremely hard to get it out i'm going to be chewing up bubble gum and sticking it in her hair and twisting it into a knot father god we come before you joe we come before you today well we would like to to thank you thank you so much for for blessing this woman 
okay, with not only the money for her, her brother, but also a wonderful car so she can drive back to and from work instead of walking two hours on the hard, hard, hot road. And for the, and for the scoundrel of a daughter, we pray nothing but the worst for her. We pray nothing but, but chaos and destruction. We pray for nothing but miscarriages. And if she do becomes pregnant and, and gives birth to a, a baby boy or girl, we pray that it comes out mentally ill. And we also pray that she grows up broke and has a big black boyfriend or baby daddy that beats on her daily. Amen.